prove that any integer can be expressed as a sum of five cubes. X plus one, all cubed, can be written as x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. x minus 1, all cubed, can be written as x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. Identity 1 plus identity 2, we have x plus 1 all cubed plus x minus 1 all cubed equals x cubed plus x cubed plus 6x. By rearranging the identity, we have 6x equals x plus 1 all cubed plus x minus 1 all cubed minus x cubed minus x cubed. Thus, 6x equals x plus 1 all cubed plus x minus 1 all cubed plus minus x all cubed plus minus x all cubed. For m in the set of integers that exists, k in the set of integers such that m equals 6k or 6k plus minus 1 or 6k plus minus 2 or 6k plus 3. Case 1, m equals 6k. From identity 3, we know m can be written as k plus 1 all cubed plus k minus 1 all cubed plus minus k all cubed plus minus k all cubed plus 0 cubed. Hence, m can be written as the sum of 5 cubes. Case 2, m equals 6k plus minus 1. m can be written as k plus 1 all cubed plus k minus 1 all cubed plus minus k all cubed plus minus k all cubed plus plus minus 1 all cubed. Hence, m can be written as the sum of 5 cubes. Case 3, m equals 6k plus minus 2. 6k plus minus 2 can be written as 6 times k minus plus 1 plus minus 8, which is equal to 6 times k minus plus 1 plus plus minus 2 or cubed. Let i equal k minus plus 1, we have m equals 6i plus plus minus 2 or cubed. Thus, m equals i plus 1 or cubed plus i minus 1 or cubed plus minus i or cubed plus minus i or cubed plus plus minus 2 or cubed. Take m equals 100. For example, 100 can be written as 6 times 17 minus 2. So k equals 17. i equals k plus 1 equals 18. Thus, the 100 can be written as 19 cubed plus 17 cubed plus minus 18 all cubed plus minus 18 all cubed plus minus 2 all cubed. Hence, 
m can be written as the sum of five cubes. Case four, n equals six k plus three. Six k plus three can be written as six k minus twenty four plus twenty four plus three which can be written as 6 times k minus 4 plus 27, which can be written as 6 times k minus 4 plus 3 cubed. Let j equal k minus 4. We have m equals 6j plus 3 cubed. Thus, m equals j plus 1 all cubed plus j minus 1 all cubed plus minus j all cubed plus minus j all cubed plus 3 cubed. Take m equals 63. For example, 63 can be written as 6 times 10 plus 3, so k equals 10, j equals k minus 4 equals 6. Thus, 63 can be written as 7 cubed plus 5 cubed plus minus 6 or cubed plus minus 6 all cubed plus 3 cubed. Hence, any integer can be expressed as a sum of 5 cubes. The proof is now complete. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for notification of new videos. See you next time.